maybe we should know about the environmental chemicals before people are exposed, because if you don't, we will end up having to study it in humans. I was diagnosed at 37 with invasive ductal carcinoma, stage two. My cancer wanted to move. We went in just to my OB-GYN and she diagnosed me with polycystic ovarian syndrome. They have no idea why I have it and I haven't been able to get pregnant. We've been trying for um, about three, three years now almost. There's many, many chemicals that we're all exposed to that have been linked to reproductive problems and infertility. Obviously it makes me think, well, hello. <laughs> you know, we surround ourselves by these things. I have a 12-year-old brother who's significantly impacted by autism. Do chemicals cause autism? Well, that's the question of the hour, isn't it? have to prove that a chemical is safer to get on the market. This was a topic that I couldn't be quiet about. One, two, three, four, chemicals, no more. We shouldn't have to wait to get cancer, a reproductive problem, for this issue to change. It should change now. Did you ever read that book, Horton, Here's a Who? And you know, they're all screaming, we're here, we're here. There's like this group of little people sitting on a speck of dust who are like, we're here. Is there going to be some type of opening that will bring this issue to light? 